Well, let's talk streaming now. Hulu raising subscription prices today. Yahoo Finance's Ali Canal here with the details. How much, Ali? Yeah, Dave, so these price hikes, they were first announced back in August, but today they are hitting those subscriptions. So here's what you're looking at if you're a Hulu subscriber. Ad supported will now cost $7.99 a month. That's up from the previous $6.99, whereas the ad-free version will run two bucks more, $14.99 versus $12.99. Now that bundled plan that also includes Disney Plus and ESPN Plus, that's safe for now, but it will see a price increase later this year. Now, now, price hikes, of course, they're not uncommon for these streaming platforms. Netflix hiked prices in January. Hulu had a previous price hike around the same time last year. And with analysts hyper-focused on profitability, this is one way to increase that revenue per user. However, the one issue is that these platforms always run the risks of increased churn. So that's something that we're going to be monitoring moving forward. But for now, if you're a Hulu subscriber, you're paying just a bit more today. And Ali, we know the box office saw some so, so sort of lukewarm results for Sony's Lyle Lyle Crocodile. So how does that add to the shaky outlook for some of these family friendly titles at the theater? Yeah, it's a much different landscape for these types of movies. Lyle Lyle saw a box office haul this weekend of 11.5 million. It had a production budget of 50 million, so not the best debut, especially as we often see attendance levels drop off as the weeks go on. And I think, honestly, it's just a reflection of this post-pandemic theatrical environment. There are only going to be 14 family-friendly movies in 2022. We have two more to go before the end of the year, and that's a pretty significant significant dip versus 24 of those titles that we saw in 2019. And one big reason for that is that this genre is moving over to streaming. Paramount Plus, Disney Plus, even Netflix have heavily invested in this type of content, in some cases spending a heck of a lot of money to secure these types of films. Hocus Pocus 2 on Disney Plus was a big one recently. Disenchanted coming soon on Netflix. We'll have The School for Good and Evil out next week. And moving forward, I think it's just going to be a conscious decision on the part of studios when it comes to where these movies go, streaming or the theater. Are you leaving money on the table, going right to streaming? Are some of these movies better suited for the theatrical? I think that's going to be a constant question, and there's going to be a lot more experimentation moving forward. It's true. Everyone's still trying to figure it out. A big thank you, Ali Canal. Thanks so much. I mean, I know for me, when it comes to, to some of these streaming things, especially kids' movies, you figure you pay for the one subscription, you've got your treats at home, you just sit back. I'm one of these people, I'm going the streaming route. If I, if I can help it, it's gonna take a lot for me to go to the movies for a, ki for a kid's movie. I'm like, if I can get it at home. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's not I a question that. that I'm going the streaming route here. I mean, I would have done this even if the pandemic didn't happen and people didn't get more used to just streaming movies in their own homes. I have never really been a huge fan of going to the movies, but from a parent's perspective, bringing my Say kids the to the movies, it's going to be, and it's a huge cost saver. How expensive is it for the movies these yeah. days? $20 a ticket? Honestly, I don't $17 know. $17 a ticket? I, 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 Times that by four? <laughs> I, That's I, a lot. So Plus rarely. snacks over a hundred bucks.